What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and today Apple took the wraps off their completely refreshed, not redesigned, MacBook Pro line. So let me run through everything with you and tell you what you can expect. Stick around. So this is going to get a little bit on the technical side, but I'm going to explain all the new specs, new features, and the new price. You may see me glance downwards. I got some notes in front of me. So all three MacBook Pros, so that's the 13, the 15, the 17, the various uh, models within those sizes, are now getting Core i5 and Core i7 Sandy Bridge chips, which is awesome. No more Core 2 Duo for that low-end 13-inch model. No more Core i3. Everything is going Core i5 and i7, which is going to mean they are going to be very, very fast. Uh, gone is the NVIDIA chipsets, unfortunately. The higher-end models are going to have, so the 15 and the 17s, are going to take advantage of AMD's Radeon HD 6000M graphics or some variants of that. The 13-inch models are going to be using Intel's HD 3000 integrated options. And you hear integrated, I used to think, ah, oh, no. Uh, but supposedly they are much better. Uh, so we'll have to sort of see what the hands-on results of those are. They're all going to get FaceTime HD cameras, which is long overdue. Uh, that's going to give you about triple the resolution of the, well, I guess now last generation uh, FaceTime cameras. They've got this new technology called Thunderbolt. You may have heard it referenced as Lightpeak. It's sort of Apple's name for it. Um, it's going to give you 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds. And to give you a frame of reference, uh, the USB 2.0 ports found on the same MacBook Pros uh, are going to give you 480 megabits uh, per second. So much, much, much faster. The only problem with Thunderbolt technology now is you're going to need peripherals that support it. So that should be sort of set a new standard, hopefully, uh, in the next coming years for data transfer speeds. That is crazy fast. All right, so let's jump into the models and let's start with the smallest guy. The 13 inch MacBook Pro is going to come in two configurations. Both models, as I mentioned, are gonna come with now Core i5 or Core i7 chips, which are awesome and super fast. Uh, the lower end is going to run you $1,199. It's gonna get you a 2.4 gigahertz Core i5 chip Four gigs of RAM is now the new standard, and a 320 gigabyte hard drive, and it's gonna be using Intel's HD 3000 chip. I was a big fan of the Nvidia chipsets the last generation had, so here's hoping Intel uh, can keep pace with those. Uh, stepping up a little bit, 1499 is gonna get you a 2.7 gigahertz core i7 model with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, the same four gigs of RAM, and that same Intel integrated HD 3000 graphics. Moving on to the two inches larger, the 15 inch, um, you are going to get just i7. Uh, no i5s for you, you're gonna get two more i's. Uh, you're also gonna get AMD's Radeon HD chipset, which is pretty awesome for all your graphics needs. Um, it's gonna cost you $17.99. It's gonna give you a two gigahertz quad core i7 chip, uh, HD Radeon 6490M with one gigabyte of VRAM. So you're gonna have a lot of VRAM for all your video editing or game playing, whatever you want to do. Uh, and 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. These computers now may actually be pretty decent for, uh, for the casual gamers. I want to hear what the gamers have to say uh, if you would consider using one of these. Uh, the next 15 inch model is gonna cost you just shy of 2200 at 2199. You're gonna get a 2.2 gigahertz Core i7 uh, computer with the Radeon 6750 graphics, 750 gigabyte hard drive with some solid state, super expensive options for 128, 256, or 512. The 17 inch model, the big granddaddy of them all, it's pretty much similar respects to the high end 15 model. Uh, you're gonna get the same 2.2 inch Core i7, the same HD Radeon 6750 and 750 gigabytes of hard drive and you can put in them solid states if you want. And it's going to cost you $2,499. So none of these are very cheap computers. Um, but you are getting now a more powerful line of MacBook Pros. You're getting the same USB ports that you had in there, but this new Thunderbolt port is pretty neat. What do you guys think about the new FaceTime HD camera? Long overdue, I think that Apple put it in. It's certainly going to make making casual web videos uh, much easier. So I'm excited to see these, get my hands on them, and you give them a, a thorough review. I want to know what you guys have to say. Are you've been waiting and you're going to go jump the ship and go get a new MacBook Pro? 
you know, what's, uh, what's your plans? Uh, do you care? Do you not care? You still think Macs are overpriced? Do you think Macs are a good value? Love to know what you guys have to say. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check out the website for all your tech news, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>